Hey, well, all around Australia, there's kids, these two little girls, 1719, with dreams in their eyes, Brisbane 32. So we need to make those kids independent. You girls, show us your exercises that you do before you get into swimming. Those stretching exercises to help warm you up. So there's kids all around Australia, indeed all around the world. However, if these kids are not made independent early, they not understand what they have to do, because when they get up on the blocks for Brisbane 32, these kids may not make it, but I tell you what, they're having a shake. And they've got dreams about making it. And if you dream, that's where it starts. So dream first, then work towards being successful. But one of the coach, all the coaches around Australia, please, make your kids independent. These kids are at the age where they need to become independent, do things for themselves, because when they go down to race, you cannot hold their hands. You can't hold their hands. They're down there in the arena, the battle's starting, so let's get that streamlined position as you go up there, girls. So it's up to streamline, beautiful. Because streamlining is non-negotiable. Lock tight, lock tight. Okay, let's do it together. Get some rhythm, ready? Streamline, up, down, up, down, up, down. Streamlining is non-negotiable. But all the time, building independence until they run through their stretching exercises and they're ready. It's all part of the process of building independence. What are the other things that kids need if they're going to be successful in Brisbane 32? They need supportive parents. Parents who are prepared to bring them to the pool, just as the parents of these two little girls made an effort to come here this morning in the school holidays to try to get their exercises and to get some idea of good technique. So they need good parents. What else do they need? If they haven't got good technique, they're gonna fall apart in the pressure moments of the racing. So they need to get the drills right. They need to get the drills right. And once those drills are right, you build on that. You do it over and over and over until it's perfect. And once it is perfect, then it becomes automatic. And if it's automatic, when you get into the pressure of a race, when you're tired and that lactic acid is starting to eat at your muscles, because you've done the work, because your technique is good, you hold your technique together under pressure and that could be the difference between Olympic gold, silver, bronze or even making an Olympic final. Well girls, I'm very happy with the way you're doing this. It's beautifully executed. Look at this girl, I'm going to get a close up on her face. Oh, streamline, beautiful. And Maddie. Beautiful. Maddie, you're gonna get a photo of me this morning. You lucky girl, I'm gonna give you a photo. Beautiful. Girls, you've done that so well. Let's get in, we're ready to start. Thank you.